Pisces, welcome back to Shacy Tarot. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to our channel. I appreciate you all very much, and I hope those of you that are brand new choose to join our Shacy Spiritual family as well. Let's get started. I'm going to do your overall general energy with the Fairy Tarot. And then for those of you that have a crush, a loved one, a sister, a brother, a father, a mother, a friend, somebody you're curious about, we're going to get your energies here, yours on this deck, whoever is on your mind on the other deck. Remember, it can go vice versa, crisscross over, be all of your energy or all of theirs. It is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Sometimes my moon or my rising sign resonates with me as much as my sun sign. So if you know what those are, your placements are, definitely check that out. Okay, and if you don't, there are free online calculators. Uh, I believe one is called Astro Sofa. You can check that out. Okay, just Google that and let's get started. So I hope you are all doing well. I've already been shuffling and meditating on your cards, but we're going to go ahead and give it one more shuffle and cut the deck before we get started. So anyhow, I hope you're all doing amazing and keeping positive let's see what's going wow they're dropping out fast for you i'm telling you they have been lately with this retrograde you have the queen of wands leo sagittarius or aries five of spring okay again more fire energy Ooh, six of winter okay so you might be conflicted about moving in a certain direction here pisces and if it's not you it's whomever is on your mind okay it can definitely play vice versa or you could be dealing with a fire sign you might be having some disagreements with a fire sign it could be or again you could be taking on the energy of the queen of wands the queen of wands is somebody who's feisty fiery taking the lead or leadership um it can be that you know again you're kind of like moving on maybe you're taking kind of the initiative to move on from a situation that you feel is very challenging it definitely could be okay and that's okay there's nothing wrong with that if you're kind of like in a place where you feel there's a lot of disagreements or arguments this could be work it could be family it could be home it could be a love interest it's like you're moving on from that or you're dealing with a fire sign or somebody who has a lot of fire in their chart. This is somebody that, you know, is is really um, fired up right now. It's like, you know, positive changes are on the way once you decide to move on and release whatever has been challenging for you or frustrating for you. The universe wants you to know that the troubled times will be uh, left behind you. You might even be thinking about, for some of you, relocating travel could be um, possibly indicated for you. If somebody's at a distance from you, maybe there's a queen of wands at a distance from you that you're thinking about. You know, maybe the distance has been challenging for you and someone else, for some of you, for others of you. This is you moving on to something better because it's been frustrating where you are. There could be, you know, family members or friends around you, um, for some of you that are just, it's causing issues and you're just kind of wanting to get away from that. You're just kind of wanting peace and, and calm. And so you might be considering moving on away from whatever has been taking your peace away. And the universe wants you to know that regardless of what's going on, you know, um, positive changes definitely are on the way, but you need to kind of trust your, your, um, your intuition and your guidance. If, if your heart and soul is telling you to, to move away from a period of conflict or cha something challenging that isn't working for you, uh, whether it's friends or family that is interfering in your life or whatever the case may be, you know, it's okay to, to kind of move on from that and um, protect your peace, you know, for yourself. That's what I'm seeing. So that's the overall energy. Let's go ahead and get one more though for the six of winter. You could be dealing with a queen of cups. Wow, interesting. And a queen of one. You might have more than one person, Pisces, that you're thinking about, okay? You know, the queen of winter is sometimes represents somebody who's divorced. It can be. Um, can be a divorcee, female or male. There is no gender specifics in tarot, okay? But if you've been dealing with um, a fire sign, a water sign, an air sign, if there's been more than one person, this is what the challenge is. You have too many people in your business, I would say, for some of you. For others of you, this is definitely you taking the initiative of moving on. Um, you're looking for more peaceful times. You've been in a situation that has been very challenging for you, and you're cutting somebody out of your life it could be a queen of cups or it could be a queen of wands it could be a fire sign a water sign or an air sign um, it's about moving away from anything that 
is in your path to your growth, to your happiness. This is what I'm seeing. And it can involve more than one person or this is the energy that you're taking on, okay? So, ooh, let me know in the comment section below. Pisces, let's find out what's going on in terms of love, please, for Pisces. Now we're in the near future. This could still bring up finance, career, whatever. I will tell you, whatever I see, Pisces, if this resonates for you, definitely check out the extended, which will be available down below in the comment section. I will pin it there. Okay, so for those of you that are brand new, it's an extension to this reading. I dig so much deeper, so if this resonates for you, check that out. I just saw one poke out here for you. Ooh, look at that, the death card. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, but you could also be going through a transformation. Again, leaving behind, ending one situation, starting a new one, going toward your happiness, your growth here. And I feel like you're gonna leave behind whatever, whomever is in your life that isn't agreeing with your path here. Okay, it's a transition, but this change is going to bring you something new that will probably be better, but let's keep digging for you. Okay, what's going on for Pisces? Yes, leave comments down below. I wanna know what's going on with you. So in the extended, I'm gonna focus on November. We're gonna get the mutual energies. I'm gonna get some loving guidance, advice messages for you. And we're gonna clarify all of this as well as um, in November, okay? There you go, see? That's exactly what I was saying. Woo, this is very, very good. You're leaving the past behind. It's, it's like this is too much drama. This is too much to handle. Um, I'm tired of it. I'm, I just can't handle this anymore. I've got too much responsibility. I need to cut this out in order to move toward my happiness. So you might actually either, you know, emotionally be moving on or physically or both. You are definitely moving on the one way or the other is what I'm seeing here. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's excellent. Okay, let's go ahead and clarify the Ten of Wands. <laughs> They're jumping. Ooh, see? Yeah, you're moving toward the sun, baby. You are. This is about growth, abundance, and happiness. And this is the most desired card in the whole deck of tarot. So everything's becoming, I feel, out in the open, or it will be. You're going to kind of release whatever energy you've been holding on to that has been negative, that has been disruptive to your life, that has made you unhappy, and you're moving forward towards your sun and your growth and your happiness. That is so awesome. Yes, you could be dealing with a Leo. Okay, Leo, Scorpio, Pisces, yourself, Cancer, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini is what I'm seeing here. Let's find out what's going on in your person's energy now or in the future, whoever you're thinking about. There could be somebody coming towards you in your future you haven't met yet. What is going on for Pisces person now or in the future, whoever is on Pisces mind that they need to know for their highest good? What are the messages for Pisces, please? What do they need to know for their highest good? What are their intentions towards Pisces now or in the future? How do they feel about Pisces? What are the messages, please, for Pisces that they need to hear for their highest good? What do they need to know? Mm. We've got the Seven of Swords, okay? So this can be that you're just kind of wanting to get out of Dodge, wanting to sneak away, you're not happy, or your person's not happy, or that's how they're seeing you. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Be careful that there's nobody around you that has been dishonest seven of swords wow that came flying out page of cups okay so somebody may want to apologize to you for um maybe emotionally taking advantage of you that could be you could be receiving some kind of messages could be from somebody younger it could be sometimes the pages you know are somebody that's younger but this is like i want to apologize to you you know, I, I have been less than honest. I want to apologize to you or offer you a gift. It's it's like things aren't working out here and I just needed to get away for a while. Somebody may have just needed to get away from a while. It could be you, could be your person. They want to apologize maybe for being dishonest. Um, if that's somebody around you that has been dishonest, remember some of this may not have happened yet. Look, we've got six of cups, okay? This could be somebody from your past or it could be a child of yours for some of you here with the page and the six of cups but this is also soulmate energy it could be somebody from your childhood somebody that you're quite fond of um somebody that you have feelings for or feeling nostalgia about they may want to apologize for you for being dishonest <clears throat> Something is ending here so that something new can begin and there's an apology coming So if something ended between you and someone else and they've been dishonest with you. They want to apologize for that 
okay? Um, they may have snuck away from you or disappeared. That's another possibility for others of you. This is um, somebody that you are getting away from, okay? And they're going to come in and they're going to apologize or send you a gift or uh, come towards you. If you're if there's distance here, they want to move towards you and they want to see you and they want to say they're sorry or kind of um, apologize. I feel for being dishonest here, possibly somebody from your past for some of you. But again, it can be your own child. Let's get the mutual energies. Sometimes with the sun card, that can indicate children as well. What are the messages here between Pisces and whomever is on their mind? What are the mutual energies between Pisces and whoever is on their mind, please? What are the messages? With the three queens here, it can be that somebody, you know, um, was with somebody from their past and they want to apologize for that because perhaps that has what... Um, there was competition here between you and somebody else. It's a pot, another another um, possibility I'm seeing here is there was competition between you and someone else. We've got three queens here, and we've got the seven of swords, and uh, you know it can be a soulmate from your past or from their past, and uh, there has been, you know, chaos involving this because there is an ending and a new beginning here. So they may apologize to you for putting you through this if there was more than one person involved. When I say more than one person involved. It can be just that. It can be children. It can be family. It can be distance. It, it can be anything. It can be a mother, a, a, a sister. It can be a brother. Whoever is interfering. There is more than one person interfering in a relationship or a family situation here. And it's become too much and it's ending. Okay. And somebody wants to, I feel, apologize to you. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Let's see what's going on mutually between Pisces and whomever is on their mind now or in the future. What is going on? That's how tarot works. You know, I've had things happen for me six months, a year later, so keep that in mind. This may not have happened yet for some of you. For some of you, it could happen in the future or it's already happening. What is going on? What is going on? Remember, if you want a personal read, you can hit me up at shaycee.com. A lot of my repeat clients will come to me months later and say, yes, this has happened, or you were right, that didn't happen, or whatever. You're each going to be different. It depends on your energy, so I'll calculate your moon rising Venus sign if you choose to do that. Other than that, if this is resonating for you, definitely take advantage of the extended because it's a lot less expensive than a personal reading, but if this is resonating for you, that might be all you wish. Okay, waiting delay. Maybe somebody wants to apologize to you because there's been delay in your relationship moving forward. Whomever you're thinking about or whatever it is you're waiting for, your growth here, I feel. You've been, you know, <clears throat> in a situation where there's been chaos and it's like you're looking forward to the end of it because it's been so difficult. Um, and you want to move towards your growth and your happiness. And you you have some challenges here that you're trying to get away from. Definitely. Um, you or whomever is on your mind, okay? I generally pick up the other person's energy, but it definitely could be both of yours or, again, like I said, vice versa, intermix. What are the waitings and delays, please? There could be delays on both sides here. It can be distance. It can be, again, there's, there's family, there's friends, there's children involved here for some of you. Somebody's been dishonest. Perhaps that was a delay as well. Somebody didn't trust. Meditate. The universe is saying take the time to meditate. There's going to be a rough patch here if you haven't already hit it. Okay, something ending, something new beginning, but it will bring growth and it will bring an apology that I feel is uh, warranted here for some dishonesty or something happening here to the point where there was more than one person involved here. It can be romantically, it can be family, friends, uh, distance, can be all of those things, but there is definitely uh, too many people involved here in... Um, in a relationship or in a family. I'm not seeing family situation, but the, wherever it's been too much, there's been a lot of responsibilities. It's been difficult. Let's get one more mutual energy. I'm going to pull a love compass message for October. What are the messages? Mutual energies, please, between Pisces and whomever is on their mind now or in the future. Yeah, okay, so somebody's been holding on to a situation. Yeah, so that's what the issue is. Okay, somebody may already be in a relationship, in a family situation, in a home, in a friendship, in a business or something to the point where 
um, there's dishonesty going on and chaos going on and it's becoming too much it's going to end whatever this situation is this cycle is going to end because somebody's been holding on the next thing that comes after you know the death and all that is the tower so there is um, something going to come out into the open it's like I've had enough I can't do this anymore and I'm ready to move on somebody's ready to move on because you and your person have been holding on to a situation too long so something's going to come out into the open an apology a gift for how things are turning out here yeah see somebody's thinking a lot you could be involved with a libra aquarius or a gemini this is air energy it's like the thoughts you know I'm, I'm thinking a lot i'm doing a lot of thinking here again like i said this is somebody either physically or emotionally moving on or both having to cut somebody out it can be a water sign, it can be um, a fire sign. I've also got an air sign here. There's too many people in a situation. If you're being left behind, somebody wants to apologize to you for being dishonest and how this is turning out. We are gonna dig so much deeper in the extended. I will clarify everything. The Six of Cups, we're gonna find out if it's soulmate energy. We're gonna clarify the Queen of Cups to see if somebody wants to let you go or vice versa or a, an air sign or a fire sign. We'll dig into November. Let's get the love compass guidance message. Leave me comments down below. I wanna know what's going on with you for October. What are the love and guidance messages, please, for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What do they need to know for their highest good? Release attachments. Wow, see that? Yeah, see, somebody's been holding on, and they're making a decision and a choice to let somebody or something go here. Uh, release attachments. Let go of unhealthy attachments and connections that no longer serve you. Release a past so new doors can open. I can't make this up. Yes, there you go. This is a period to get in touch with your inner strength and reclaim your personal power. Move forward to be free. Endings always bring new beginnings. You see that? Somebody's releasing somebody or a situation or something. It's been too much. Wow. Okay. Let's dig deeper. We're going to find out where we're going. I hope this resonates for you. I will pull another loving guidance message for November. I'm also going to do the angel pick a card so you'll be able to ask the universe a question and you'll be able to pick a card as well as we're going to dig in deeper with the vintage deck. Look what's right on top. Look, are you kidding me? Look at that. The page of cups again. Yeah. Definitely expect some kind of communication here. Look. Yeah, it's an ending to a painful situation. There's a new beginning here. Let's find out where we're going. I will dig so much deeper. So for those of you leaving me now, I will see you next time. For those of you meeting me for the continuation, I will be right there. That, again, is pinned down in the comments section below. Bracelet giveaway. All you need to do is hit that like button, subscribe. We hope you become a part of our Chasey Spiritual family. We appreciate each and every one of you. I absolutely love reading for all of you. And thank you very much for your continued support. And I will see you next time. Namaste.